and good morning everyone. So today I am on a driving activity day at Northweald Airfield, which is run by Car Limits, and today's session is organised by Lotus on Track, so it's a Lotus exclusive-ish day. There's a couple of VX220s and a Caterham, which I think will let in. So the idea is it's not a track day, that's why I don't have a helmet on. It's a day designed for you to experience your car at the upper limits to see how it responds, to see what sort of total grip you have available and to see how your car responds in the event that you're basically driving too fast and lose control. So we're hopefully going to start with a few basically uh, just turns, high speed turns to see how the car behaves, then we're going to build some uh, activity courses out of cones and things and Hopefully today, it's a bit damp today. I have got a camera mounted to the front of the car that I'll turn on in a little bit. I'm hoping that with it being uh, less than perfectly dry, I can find out quite how much the traction control intervenes and what the different settings do and how they really impact upon the driving experience when you're driving the car briskly. So I hope we get some footage. Let's find out. So, first attempt at this corner is at their recommended speed of 60. I'm afraid I haven't got the um, front camera on just yet. I have traction control fully on. are going down there's a fundamental problem in the way this is sort of happening and it, we, you know we queue up to go around so the thing is that your tires no matter how long you've got them before by the time you go and do this they're stone cold oh someone spun already so i wouldn't be the first then hey happy days so let's see how we get on Probably worth mentioning the tyres on this car. Tyres in any car are of course important, doubly so in a sports car. So the Evora 400 as standard is shod with Michelin uh, Pilot Super Sport tyres. And they are very, very well regarded as an excellent road tyre. Now, there's an increasingly large number of cars these days which are being fitted with the Pilot Sport Cup, or Cup 2 tyres, as standard. Now, if you're in the dry, on a track, Pilot Sport Cup 2 is definitely going to be a faster, better tyre than the Pilot Super Sport. But, in all other conditions, the Pilot Super Sport is going to be a much better tyre. And to be honest, if you are using a car in not track conditions, you know, less than ideal conditions like today, then the Super Sport is a great car to, to be honest any road car I would much prefer to have the Super Sports over the Cups. There is also another tyre which is the Pilot Sport. Michelin has just brought out the Pilot Sport 4 I believe. That is designed to slot below the Pilot Super Sport. I believe there's a bit of a conflict of information. Some people suggest that the Pilot Sport is going to replace the Super Sport. Uh, other people suggest that it's not. It's just a sort of complementary uh, tyre aimed at cars with small wheels, hot hatchbacks and the like. But uh, yeah, so that's the tyres that this car has. If you were on Cup 2 tyres, I think you'd be having a much harder time today, actually. So yeah, let's just see how we get on. I don't know whether you, do you want to sit in with you, give a few tips? Um, up to you. If you can get in there, you're It'll welcome to. You. This does move back. 
I was just about to try sport mode and see if it'll still catch me. I'll turn everything off. See if it can catch yourself. So what mode are you in? That's sport now. Let's turn everything off. try and do is point your wheels to where you want to go yeah so where you want to go if you look at the horizon you've got our building as a guide yeah to the left of our building you've got the tall street lamp I get you yeah so if you turn your wheel there what we did there the car started to slide yeah then it started to rotate and the knee-jerk reaction was to think oh it's going round yeah and then what we did we hung onto the steering wheel and that's what started to allow it to speak okay so if next time you go around the corner you put one finger just here yeah and just use one finger and nothing else and pull your finger down just gently, what the steering will do, it will bounce back. Yeah. Right? Okay. Okay, okay, one finger on the top of the wheel. Yeah. Finger there now. Get the other fingers out of the way. Get too much grip. Just the weight of your finger. Off the pedals, pull your finger down gently. You leave your finger there. And you, no power. And you can feel the steering wheel at the yeah. same speed. Just self-corrected. Did you feel that? Yeah, it wasn't doing much, to be honest. No, it doesn't have to do much. Tiniest, tiniest just, bit. It just bounced back a little bit. Yeah. yeah. That's all it does. So that's what you're looking for with both hands. Yeah. Is that sensitivity we had with one finger. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, okay. Thank you. All right, no worries. So now we have a small circuit course. Which we've got to navigate our way around. It's basically a lot of cones and things. And it does look, to be honest, pretty confusing. So... See if I can get around the thing in the correct direction first before I even worry about going quickly. is starting to come down now but it's not hideously bad so what they got set up at the minute they got set up this little course that I've been doing these last couple of laps then over there they have basically I think it's a straight with a sharp u-turn again to sort of practice your car skills and then the plan is weather permitting in the afternoon the two courses will be joined together to form a decent sized circuit
powered Elise thing. It's a two litre Golf Mark IV unit, uh, currently running 567 brake horsepower, and he's looking to upgrade it to about 600 brake horsepower. So it does look a bit serious. It's not a road car at all. It turned here up here on a trailer. Um, <laughs> But uh, yeah, in these conditions, well, I imagine it's a handful in the drive, but pff, he's basically just driving it, keeping it off boost because I'm, I'm having trouble. I was spinning up, down as a straight over there. I was spinning up in third, about 3000 RPM. And he just wants to light the back tires up. So, you know, on the road, I've, I've never had that. Never had the car spin its rear tires. Um, but in these, on this surface, in these conditions, very doable. As we were queuing, a chap came up to me and asked whether he could have a passenger ride in the car, so I naturally agreed. And so if you hear someone else talking in this video, that is my friendly passenger who wanted to know a bit more about the Evora because he'd never seen one before. So, trying race mode at the minute, which is supposed to learn the grip available on the surface. Yeah, well, that's that's the idea. The point <laughs> is that basically you'll hang on to the coattails of a man with an exige, but then when you're done, you whack the Fleetwood Mac on, you got your sat nav, you got your heated seats, you got everything. You know, yeah. it doesn't leak, it's comfy. Yeah, that's what they're all about. That's very smart. Oh, I love that. Yeah, the really nice yellow exige S in front. There we go, that's my last run for the day. I've had a really, really good day. It's been very, very fun, and very educational. Mostly fun though. Despite the initially poor weather, I think that actually added to it in many, many ways. And I really, really liked it. I mean, very good people here, the staff are great, and the atmosphere is really, really good too. If you are considering getting your car out on an activity day like this, or if you're thinking about a track day, but you're not sure you want to do it, I mean, highly recommend doing this. So the guys hosting this are called Car Limits and they host events here at Northwield Airfield, 
which is Epping. It's basically just north of London, so very easy to get to for a lot of people. The day-to-day, -day, I believe we paid about £40 with Lotus on track, but they do do days for basically drivers of any type of car, and they also do days where there's only sort of two or four people using the, the whole track all day if you want to do something, spend a little bit more cash and do something like that. But uh, yeah, I would highly recommend it to anyone that wants to give it a go. I know my girlfriend has mentioned trying to do a track day type thing, so I'm going to see if I can persuade her to come down here and uh, give this a go with her car. So I uh, hope you've enjoyed today's video, and uh, I'm glad to get some more driving stuff done for you guys. I have more plans coming very, very soon involving a bit of, not track, but nearly driving, and that'll be coming to you guys in about a fortnight. So. Thanks as always. If you've liked it, please subscribe, please comment. I get back to people where I can, and yeah, have a great day. Thank you.